वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट शेयर फोर्स डेट द मेंबर कैन सस्टेन इफ द एलाइबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज एट के एस आई सो एलाइबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज एट के एस आई सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट शेयर फोर्स डेट कैन बी अप्लाइड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस लार्जेस्ट शेयर फोर्स डेट कैन बी अप्लाइड for allowable sharing stress of 8 ksi so let's start with the solution so as we know that allowable sharing stress can be written as v into q max divided by i into t so here we have this allowable stress we do not have q max i and t and we are interested to find out v so what we will do is that we will first find the section property that is i so section property i now you can see this figure that uh, uh, for i we need neutral axis so we do not know the location of neutral axis because this this section is not symmetrical about uh, horizontal axis so we will first find this y bar that is the location of neutral axis from the uh, top here we are we are taking the top as reference so for that i am going to draw this section of the beam let this is the section clear and we if we take this as a reference so you can see the total height is 3 inch this is 3 inch this width is 1 inch this is 1 inch this is also 1 inch and the remaining is 3 inch so total width is 5 inch this thickness of upper portion is 1 inch so we will find y bar which is the location of neutral axis from the base uh, the from the base or the, from the top that depends on you and that is represented by y dash bar into a divided by sum of area so here we are we can see that if we can divide it into two portions so this will be your first one and this will be your second member so we can write this formula like y dash is equal to y1 dash into a1 plus we have two areas two members so two times y2 dash bar into a2 divided by a1 plus two times a2 now y dash is equal to y1 bar so first area is this area so you can see this is a1 this is a1 and a1 is equal to 1 inch multiplied by 5 inch clear so this is 1 inch and this is 5 inch so this is area a1 so i will write first area a1 is 1 inch into 5 inch and what is y1 dash so y1 dash is the half of this is your y1 dash because we are taking the upward surface as a reference this is reference clear so y1 dash is the uh, centroidal axis of the member 1 so this y1 dash is 1 <coughs> sorry 0.5 not 1 because you can see that this is total 1 inch so half it will be equal to 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 0.5 inch plus 2 times now what is a2 so a2 is this area and this area is equal to 1 into this height is 2 inch because this is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so 1 a2 is equal to 1 into 2 so i will write 1 into 2 and what is y2 dash so y2 dash is the centroidal of section 2 from the top so this is your y2 
dash bar and that is equal to this height was 2 inch clear so 1 and plus this one and that why 2 dash is 2 inch so I will write 2 multiply by 2 divide by a1 a1 was 1 into 5 plus 2 times a2 a2 is 2 into 1 so when you calculate it you will get uh, y bar is 1.1667 inch so if you want to locate this y bar so from top it will be at a distance of this is your y bar that is 1 1.6 1.1 1 1.1667 inch from the top clear and that will that will be your neutral axis and this remaining will be equal to i will also write it remaining will be equal to 1.883 inch now we will find i and i about neutral axis can be calculated as i about neutral axis is equal to for first member one that is equal to one over 12 base is total five from this point till this point this is 5 inch so 5 into height is 1 inch so 5 into 1 cube plus a d square because this portion this first member is away from this first member is away from this neutral axis so definitely this d will be equal to uh, d can be used for parallel axis theorem so area will be equal to 5 into 1 and what is d so d is this distance if you can see this is the area here and this is the centroidal so this will be equal to d1 and this distance you can see that is equal to this distance uh, this this is the centroid here so this distance if I represent it over here, this is equal to D1. And this D1, you can see that is equal to Y. Uh, this distance will be equal to uh, this Y1 minus this distance and which is Y1 dash. So I will write it A into D square. So D is uh, Y dash 1.1667 minus 0 0.5 whole square plus two times now the, this the moment of inertia of this so two times 1 over 12 b is 1 and height is 2 cube plus area 2 into 1 and what will be the centroid so this distance the, the this portion this is y2 clear so y2 and this is your neutral axis sorry this is your y2 is you can see this was y2 okay let me show you over here so that you cannot confuse so this is your neutral axis there and you can see this distance is t2 and this distance is equal to y2 dash minus this y this distance y y dash so i will write y2 is 2 inch minus y dash is 1.1667 square so when you calculate it you will get i about neutral axis comes out to be 6.75 inch power 4 okay now we will find q max so q max is equal to you know that q max is equal to sum of y dash into a dash clear so first moment of inertia about the neutral axis so for that i will show you that this is the neutral axis 
this is the neutral axis so this portion is now you can see this is 1.167 and this is 1.8 so we will take the moment of inertia of this uh, sorry the first moment of inertia of this remaining portion to get the maximum shear force so this will be equal to this area is equal to 1.883 into 1 so i will write as there are two so two into 1.883 into 1 and what will be y dash so y dash will be half of this from the neutral axis so this will be equal to y bar and that is equal to 1.883 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.91665 inch so 0 0.91665 will be y dash so when you solve this you will get q max will be equal to 3.3611 inch power 3 now what about t because now we have q we have i and t so t will be equal to one thickness is this one and one is this one so two inch is thickness now you have all the values you can just put it ta allowable is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so ta allowable in given data is 8 ksi so it will be equal to 8 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to v and q is 3.3611 divided by i is 6.75 and t is 2 so from here you will get v is equal to 8 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6.75 and divide by 3.3611 so when you solve this you will get v is equal to 32132 pounds or v is equal to 32.1 kips so this is the answer of our this question number 7-9 now we will move toward question 7-10 and for that i will copy it and we will paste it over here so you can see question 7-10 so in 7-10 we have been given as v is equal to 18 kips so what you have to do you have to find maximum shear stress maximum shear stress so we will solve this this is also very easy we know that maximum sharing stress or allowable sharing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t since this uh, cross section is same as in question 7-9 so we will take the value of i which we have calculated here that is 6.75 inch 4 6.75 inch power 4 q is also calculated in that which is same 3.36 3.3611 inch power 3 t is again 2 inch clear and v is also given 18 kips so it's very easy just you have to put the form value in this formula v into q divided by i into t so v is 18 kips so 18 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 18 10 to the power 3 into 3.3611 divided by i is uh, 6.75 and t is 2 clear so when you solve this you will get it 4.48 ksi after calculation so maximum sharing stress is 4.48 ksi and this is the answer of our question 7-10 i hope you have enjoyed both of this problem 
and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching